What's up everybody, Jesse here, and today we see that I have the Hylian Shield. So a lot of people are asking, how do you get the Hylian Shield? It's one of the most durable and strongest shields in the game. We can see its stats here are 90. So what you do is, I spawned at this shrine, which is really close to Hyrule Castle, as we're about to see. Now, you actually have to sneak into Hyrule's castle to do this. There are many different ways that you can do this, but if you just want to get the Hylian shield or some of the more powerful weapons and rare food, items, stuff like that, they can all be found within Hyrule Castle. It's literally one of the best places to go, you quickly become overpowered. So I've already made it into the castle, going straight in from the front isn't the best option. I find it best to load up somewhere in the back of Hyrule Castle, and then you can kind of sneak in the back way, which I found to be a lot easier. It is time consuming, but so is going straight in. So we see that I load up here beside the Saz Kaza Shrine, it's okay if you haven't unlocked this yet, if you make it to this area in the docks, just like this torch, it'll come up. There is a really strong mini goblin in there, so you can just jump off of this, avoid these enemies. This place is filled with a lot of overpowered enemies, as it should be. It's the final dungeon in the game, so we can just kind of skip past all of these enemies. Here we have a great blade. This is another powerful weapon you can get in the game. I already have one. I've used it before. So I'm just going to go and throw it away. Grab the new one. Make my way to the edge of this cliff right here. And fly. Well, glide rather over here, climb up the cliff, okay, there's a guardian right here that we can avoid if we can, I'm going to go ahead and just, where is it, here we are, get an ancient arrow ready, and boom in the eye, it's dead, just kind of wait for it to go, grab all of this stuff, uh, change back to a normal arrow, and here we are. We need to use Cryonis, lift this up, there's going to be a lot of enemies in the way, so we can just shoot through here. Now. I originally made it through here whenever I basically had no real powerful weapons. We see a few enemies here. I'm not afraid to take a hit because I have my thing up. We see he's quickly dead. Uh, the weapons that the enemies drop are all super powerful as well. Uh, there, there are things hidden around, you can just skip them, but here is the important room. Go to the very back, in here, we see this Moblin kind of, well it's not a Moblin, it's a stall Moblin, whatever, but he has a lot of powerful weapons in him. We can just shoot him in the eye like always. Uh... I don't want to use the big Goron sword just because, um, what weapon do I have that I can use? Well, the flame sword. I know I can get it really quickly just by warping there, so we'll use it to kind of hack away at him. So he takes a lot of hearts just by jumping on us. Did not expect that. So. Let's eat some meal here at this, uh... I don't want to eat anything that raises our attack. 
Uh, for, for the purposes of this video, we'll go ahead and eat this. To kind of make this quicker. Uh, we won't make the same dumb mistake again. Shoot him in the eye. Run over. Attack. Attack. Now, there are probably better ways to kill him. Like I said earlier, I'm not the best at making guides and stuff. It's blocking the eye there. It's really important when the eye falls out to attack the eyeball. Alright. Eyeball's dead. He's dead. We got all of these awesome weapons. We have a Thunder Blade here, which I already have, so I'm going to throw mine away. Get the new one. We got a Royal Broadsword. A lot of powerful weapons here. <clears throat> now, in this room, after you kill him, there is supposed to be a Hylian shield that comes up. We can see it, right? Strike down the giant foe to become recognized as the Knight of the Kingdom. Now, as I said, there's supposed to be a treasure chest here that pops up with the Hylian shield in it. As you can see on my back, I already have it. So it's not popping up, but this is where you find it and how you get it. And this place is filled I mean completely filled with other powerful weapons. Almost every enemy you fight is going to be incredibly powerful and full. So you just look how many hits this guy is taking. The weapon he has, a Dragonbone Moblin Spear, we can see everything is really powerful weapons. Anyways. That's how you find it. Go here to the docks, really easy, in this room, fight the Moblin, kill him. I don't even know if he's a Moblin, sorry. But that's how you do it guys, remember to subscribe and like if you want more of these tips and tricks and hints for The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. It's a huge game, there are tons of things that I've came across simply by accident. I found the Hylian Shield, I knew it was in the castle, uh, someone had mentioned it to me. I didn't know how to get there, how to find it, what I needed to do. I went through tons of rooms, found a lot of really strong weapons, a lot of really rare food, items, shields, almost anything you can think of. There are ancient arrows just laying around that you can casually come across. But the enemies are really tough, so be prepared if you want to go in there, but the rewards are worth it. You don't necessarily need to head straight for Ganon, you can just go in all of the other basements, the dungeons, and find everything that you need. Then you can go out and you'll basically be overpowered from the very beginning of the game. So thank you all for watching. Again, please subscribe, like. What's up everybody, really quick before we get to the usual end slate, I wanted to mention a quick update for this channel. I'm trying to bring together a few new series other than the usual discussions and news videos that we do. I would like to bring quality reviews, let's plays, do more live streams, a top 10 series, and more analysis videos. However, to do this, I need your help. Between being a new father, YouTube, and my real job, I don't have the time to work on all of these videos. So I'd like to bring on other people who can help out from time to time, like Sissizi and others who have helped host and edit videos before. Before. To make this all happen and to get awesome rewards for yourself, head over to patreon.com slash gameoverjesse where you can get shoutouts and videos, join our group discord and chat with us whenever you want, be a guest on some of our videos, and much more. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and leave your thoughts in the comments below. I would like to give a huge thank you to this month's Patreons for their support. George Martinez, Glenn Cassio, Hen Hu Tienen, Lunarium, Magic Tech Review, The Itch Network, and Harris Priest. Thank you all for everything and it's because of your support that I'm able to find the time to do these videos. If you would also like to support this channel, head over to patreon.com slash gameoverjesse where you can find all kinds of great rewards like joining on a video, being added onto our discord chat, having your discussion or topic featured on one of our videos, and much more, including having your own custom artwork similar to my own, drawn of you in any anime or video game style you would like. Finally, I would like to give a huge thank you to Nomo Designs and CSGuitar89 for providing the music and artwork for this channel.